I'm Jamie McDonald. Join me as we celebrate small businesses that make New York so unique. These New York Originals. When you think theater in New York City, usually Broadway comes to mind. But there are some other theatrical gyms out there, if you know where to look. Like in Staten Island, where thanks to three sisters and their mother, the St. George Theater has been given a new lease on life. Walking by the St. George Theater on Hyatt Street, you'd be forgiven if you thought it was just any old building. For its somewhat plain exterior gives little hint to the visual delights inside. It is a feast for the eyes, with its lobby and theater dripping with splendid decorations and accoutrements. A classic entertainment palace built in an era when people got dressed up to go out, even if it was just to go to the movies. When patrons were taken to their seats by pretty usherettes and a three-reeler was standard. The St. George Theater sits just a stone's throw away from the Staten Island Terminal, looking over the bay like a grand old dam. It was built to rival the theaters of Broadway, costing then an exorbitant half million dollars. The theater was built in 1929 and had its grand opening on December 4th, 1929. The architect was Eugene DeRosa and assisting him was James Whitford. De Rosa and Whitford used a mix of Spanish and Italian Baroque themes to create their masterpiece. Oversized murals, ornate fountains, and car figurines are stuffed in every nook and cranny. The theater also features one of the largest cantilever balconies ever built. At one time, the St. George could seat some 3,000 people who would see an assortment of entertainment that included first-run movies, musical performances, and vaudeville shows. Among the performers, Kate Smith, Al Jolson, and Arthur Godfrey. Through the years, the theater underwent several incarnations to keep it afloat, including a nightclub, antique showroom, and even a roller rink. But alas, none of them stuck. The theater had a great economical life till the 70s, and then it fell on hard times, and it was closed for nearly three decades. In the mid-1990s, it was reopened for a time as a performing arts center. Unfortunately, again, economic problems shuttered it. But it wasn't until a guardian angel came into the picture that the theater's fate would be changed forever. A woman by the name of Rosemary Capazzalo, well known in Staten Island for her patronage to the arts, as well as teaching dance to generations of local girls. Some of whom went on to become Radio City Rockettes and dancers on Broadway. She not only taught dance, but she was the most giving person you would want to meet. And then she used her life savings over one million dollars to help begin the restoration of this theater, and she donated it. Mrs. Rosemary and her daughters quickly went to work. We didn't realize the amount of work that really had to be done until we stepped in here. We'd probably still take on the project, but we would have prepared ourselves a little better. During the restoration, they discovered old movie stills and posters, which they have now proudly put back up. And with the theater back to its original grandeur, she's serving Staten Island even better as both a performing arts and community center. And here we are today. We have over 100 performances a year and 100,000 people visit us yearly. And uh, we're here for good. Katie Lang, Art Garfunkel, and Tony Bennett all recently played here. But just as everything was looking up for the St. George Theater, sadness would befall her. Unfortunately, she passed away in June, on June 28th, battling cancer. I could go on with stories how she touched people individually, how she touched communities. It's amazing. It's now, Mrs. Rosemary's daughters are intent on fulfilling her biggest wish. We made it a priority that this theater is for everyone. So we have outreach programs for children, teens, adults, and seniors so everyone could have the opportunity to see a show. They are also continuing their mother's work giving free dance lessons to underprivileged kids. And with Mrs. Rosemary's generosity to the St. George Theater, countless others will also be touched by her for years to come. The St. George Theater is available for rentals for private events and screenings. 
Upcoming performances include Liza Minnelli and Boys to Men.